This is the verb leer, which means to read. And we're going to go over it in the present tense. Now, how are we going to remember that leer is to read? Well, you might have heard of the Shakespeare um, novel or Shakespeare play, King Lear. And when I was in high school, I had to read King Lear. Um, hmm. If you don't know the, 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 the play King Lear, this is going to be hard to remember. Just, just try to remember that layers to read. Okay, I'm going to say each form of the verb in English and Spanish and clap, and I'd like you to repeat. I read. Yo leo. I read. Yo leo. You friend read. Tu lees. You friend read. Tu lees. She reads. Ella lee. She reads. Ella lee. We read. Nosotros leemos. We read. Nosotros leemos. You guys read. Ustedes leen. You guys read. Ustedes leen. Now this is a regular ER verb, so you chop off the ER and add O, E, S, E, E, M, O, S, E, N. Remember green means it's easy, it follows the pattern, you're not going to have trouble. What throws some people off though is seeing the double E. E, 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 E. Um, they think, oh, I must have made a mistake. No. Um, the only four letters in Spanish that can ever be doubled are C, E, L, R. Everybody say cellar, cellar. Um, in English, almost every letter can be doubled. Double, uh, double E, double I, double L, double R, double T. But in Spanish, there are only four letters that can ever be doubled. Okay, I have a clip. If you type in cellar, C-E-L-L-A-R, um, that'll explain it. The way I remembered it, when my grandmother had extra stuff, like extra uh, uh, shovels or extra supplies, she'd keep her extra stuff down in the cellar. The only four letters that can ever be doubled in Spanish are C E. L R. So don't ever like try to double S or double T. All right, that's layer to read in the present tense.